The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has completed the testing of 140 milk samples for high path avian flu. Host of Real Ag Radio, friend of the show, Sean Haney joins us now with what those tests revealed. Thanks for spending some time with us, as always, Sean. So I'm going to guess that you had at least one positive sample because we have seen this frequently coming up in the water supply here in the U.S. What would you find? Well, interestingly enough, Christina, and it's great to be with you here this morning, that they, they tested 140 retail milk samples from across the country, and they actually found no remnants of the highly pathogenic avian influenza, the HPAI virus, as of month, it'd be actually, actually as of yesterday, Tuesday, May 14th. So t testing milk at the retail level is, is actually a reversal from an earlier statement less than three weeks ago where CFIA said it was only testing milk from cows under suspicion of, suspicion of the disease based on symptoms they were showing. Also, of course, Canada is requiring testing of incoming uh, dairy animals in, into, into Canada from the U.S. I think there's about 3,600 uh, dairy animals that uh, come, come north out of the U.S. Uh, per year or did in 2023. So interestingly enough here, no, no positive test. So um, I, it's, I guess, I, and no indication they're going to continue those tests either based on the press release they sent out. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard. The testing is difficult to track down. I host a show called Rural Health Matters, and we're actually testing wastewater samples, and they're saying that they've discovered it as far back as December. So we are going to have to continue to watch this. Up to this point, has Canada had any positive cases of HPAI in birds or cattle? Well, well okay, so avian influenza for, the, for birds, absolutely. Um, Canada, now the levels were lower this past season, but yes, definitely in birds, Canada has faced some of the same challenges that the U.S. has. When it comes to dairy animals, there has been no positive tests as of yet. Uh, CFIA said in a, in a statement uh, on, on Tuesday, yesterday, negative results mean that HPAI, HPAI fragments are not present in the milk. This supports current reports that the virus has not been detected in Canadian dairy cows. Mm. So as of yet, now, I would say this as well, though, I, I think a lot of the industry or people I, you know, dairy farmers I talk to in Canada, industry people, it's not a if, it's kind of, I think there's a bit of a, well, when this happens sort of sentiment out there. And so people are trying to be as proactive as, as possible, but up, up until this point, no positive cases. You know, what's interesting is um, on the same show I was just alluding to, we are well aware that the pasteurization process is highly effective and our pasteurized milk here in this country is safe. So I'm sure that's the case up there as well. Have you heard of any additional measures that will be taken? Because it does sound like it is a matter of when and not if. Yeah, well, you brought up pasteurization. That, that's actually a really good point. Um, whether it's beef or the dairy industry in Canada and the U.S., reminding consumers, that's the important component here of the messaging, is that this is not a threat to, to, to food safety at all. And the pasteurization, from a milk perspective, that, the pasteurization process does kill the harmful bacteria and viruses, including HPAI which really does ensure that milk and milk products are, are safe to, to drink and eat. So that's, that's critical. Um, some, of the, some of the dairy associations across Canada, the provincial groups, have been providing regular updates to producers, giving them uh, suggestions and, and education when it comes to biosecurity. Of course, a dairy farm is a little bit different biosecurity than, say, a, a poultry operation, which is you know, really locked down from a, from a biosecurity standpoint. Um, also, dairy cows... Don't don't. Uh, it's not a fatal situation for them compared to with with birds in terms of how they are impacted by by this virus. So I, I think producers really getting up to speed and getting educated on things that they can do to as much as possible prevent the spread of this. Yeah, PPE. We're talking a lot about PPE for dairy workers right. here in the United States. So yeah, keep us up to date. You do such a good job of it. I follow you on Twitter and I don't regret it for a minute. You always have very insightful updates there as well. Actually, it's known as X now. Let me make sure I get that right. Real Ag Radio. Thank you so much for joining us. Sean Haney. This is brought to you by Economics. You can go to nutrient-economics.com for the latest crop nutrition research information and Sean's show, Real Ag Radio, it airs at 4.30 p.m. Eastern every weekday on Rural Radio, Channel 147 on Sirius XM.